Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Edit. My name is Jared Hux. I'm a wedding and portrait photographer based out of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And today we're going to be working on one of my travel slash street photography photos. Let's get started. So this will be a really short and sweet one today. I really like this photo because I love the building. I like the lines. I like the, the people crossing the street, the guy on the bike turning left. I just think this is a really cool photo. There's a few things that I would have changed if I'd have thought about it then. It's definitely something I can fix with almost no problems whatsoever. So let's go ahead and uh, get started in the develop module. So first thing I'm going to do is pick one of my presets that I use a lot, which is going to be Long Necker 04 from Tribe Archipelago. It's one of my favorites. Let's just go ahead and click on that, see what it looks like straight out of the box. Not bad. It looks more like film. We have a lot of uh, coolness from the sky coming in, but still like that richness and that bold color coming in from the red on the building. It's still got a little bit too much contrast for me just because we're losing a lot in the shadows with, uh, you know, with this gentleman here on the bike. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull up my shadows a bit. That's way too much. Okay, so we'll dial down. That's about right. Okay. Highlights. All right, how about a little bit more in the contrast? There we go. That's cool. All right, I'm just going to tweak the crop slightly. All right. But obviously, I'm shooting with a, a really wide angle, 20 millimeters. And uh, so what I want to do, because I'm shooting up and I've got a lot of sky in it, I've got kind of that uh, pyramid effect. You can see the outside of the building just kind of pinching here. So I'm just going to come down here to lens corrections, constrain crop, vertical. All right. And we'll just push it the other way. All right, maybe horizontal to kind of fix some of the perspective shift. All right, angle the photo, bam, right there. Now we've got a straight image. I think this looks really good. Um, this guy is kind of bugging me, so I'm going to crop in slightly. That way we can just kind of take him out of the equation. Okay, now that we have that, um, I'm just going to play one more time with my contrast. All right, that's not bad. All right, maybe just a grad filter just to see if I can pull out a little bit more from the sky. There we go. It was a really cold day, um, but it was a beautiful day. We had a really sunny day. It was nice, but uh, it was just so super cold. This was in January, like right before like the whole snowmageddon thing happened. So, uh, so just a little adjustment brush here. Okay, I'm just giving it just a little pinch of stuff right there. You'll see, okay, it's just enough to just kind of, um, just give us a little bit more detail. Good, 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 good. Bring my highlights down a little more. Let me warm it up. We are in the shadows there, so. Good. Okay, and I'm just gonna hit enter. All right, start a new one over here so that we can get a little bit more on this side of the building, a little bit more on our friend here on the bicycle. All right, this is way overexposed. I always start with just a little bit of the highlights dropped, a little bit of the shadows boosted, and the exposure boosted, because that's like, it's, I always end up tweaking it, but that kind of gives me a, a range to show me what can and cannot really change um, on the image once I start adjusting it. So it's just a nice little baseline. So I'm obviously gonna drop my exposure Okay. All right, we really just want a slight boost there. Okay. I like the drop in highlights because it still gives us some depth. And I think that looks really good. Okay, detail. We're going to just hit a little bit of sharpening. We don't want to go too far because we don't want it to go like ridiculous. But uh, with the grain at zero and uh, sharpening up a little bit, I think it looks really nice. And I think this building looks fantastic. It's an amazing place in Brooklyn, New York. I don't know exactly where I was, but uh, I was walking around near Grand Army Bar, which is uh, owned by a friend of mine. We were uh, shooting some food and stuff there. And um, I was just walking around kind of killing some time. And I came across this place and it's absolutely gorgeous. All right, well, that's my image, guys. 
Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Maybe something you would have done differently. That'd be great as well. I'd love to see what you guys would do with this. And, uh, you know, if there's any interest whatsoever, I might even release this raw file for you guys to play with as well. So, uh, you know, let me know if you're interested in doing that. That way I can give it to you guys and you guys can show me what you would have done with it as well. Well, that's all for me today. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.